There are a wide variety of information sources useful in nursing studies. Depending on your information needs, you may choose different sources in different situations. This tutorial will introduce you to the academic sources that will be most useful during your program at Dalhousie. Throughout your program, your instructors will recommend readings from reliable texts and journals. These readings are a great way to start your information search. These sources often provide you with authoritative information and they can guide you to additional sources through their bibliographies and reference lists. Recommended readings may be in reserved reading area, an electronic classroom space, or in the library. If you have trouble finding them, just ask. In many cases, you will have to seek information beyond the recommended readings. It is helpful to understand a bit about how information is organized in your field before you begin. Information sources are often categorized into primary, secondary, and tertiary. But what does that mean? A primary source is the original source of information. In the health sciences, this usually means original, experimental, or clinical research, survey results, or interviews, or other field work that has been reported in academic journals. In the humanities, a primary source may take the form of diaries, autobiographies, poems, or speeches for a few examples. A secondary source describes, analyzes, summarizes, or interprets information contained in primary sources. A secondary source often takes the form of a review article, a textbook, biographical works, or scholarly articles that do not report new experimental research results. Finally, a tertiary source compiles, analyzes, and digests information from both primary and secondary sources. A tertiary source could be a dictionary, an encyclopedia, Wikipedia, or a database. Resources of all three types may be available in print form, electronically through the library website, or they might be easily found on the internet. The format does not determine the quality of the information, the content does. Before you begin your information search, be sure to understand your assignment requirements. If you are uncertain or need clarification, check with your instructor. Also make sure you understand new or unfamiliar terminology. Tertiary tools like dictionaries and encyclopedias can be very helpful with this. They're often called reference tools. You may want to begin your information search with books which give a good overview of a subject, as well as lots of discussion on different aspects of a topic, including historical background. Use the library's online catalog to find books on your topic. You can search the catalog by author, title, or subject, or a combination of these. The catalog will tell you which library the book is located in, whether it is in electronic or paper format, if the book is in the library or already signed out, and where the book is located on the shelf. A module on searching our catalog is available by clicking the link in the description below. Journal articles are another excellent source of information for nurses. Scholarly or academic journals publish a number of issues each year, and each issue contains multiple articles. Journals are popular in the health sciences because they are published quickly and frequently, so the newest research information is usually distributed this way in primary papers for fast dissemination. Articles are usually concise and focus on a narrow topic. Journals often contain primary articles with reports from new research and secondary articles based on reviews, discussion in the field, or summaries of related research. Many of your assignments require that you use peer-reviewed articles. Peer review is a quality control process intended to ensure that published information is valid and reliable. Peer-reviewed scientific articles typically include an abstract and the names of all authors and their credentials and affiliations. Usually at least one author will have a doctoral degree such as a PhD or an MD and a university affiliation. The format of the article usually has sections for an introduction, methods, results, discussion, and or conclusions. If you are not sure if an article has been peer-reviewed, 
The best, most reliable way to check is to go to the website of the journal itself. Note that journals that publish peer-reviewed studies may also publish letters, editorials, or other opinion pieces. These are typically not peer-reviewed and probably not what your instructor had in mind as a source. Likewise, news stories or articles in trade journals may have useful information, but they are not peer-reviewed. If you need help determining whether something is peer-reviewed, be sure to consult a librarian. You can find peer-reviewed journal articles in a number of places. Databases like CINAHL for Nursing and Allied Health Journals and PubMed for Biomedical Literature allow you to search by author, title, and most commonly by subject. Our online catalog does allow you to do a general search for articles, but keep in mind that the results you get will be more limited than if you went to a specific database. Google Scholar is also a resource for finding academic articles, though the results may be hard to sort through. Don't be daunted by our subscription-based databases. They are an easy way to get the specific information you need. The best way to get familiar with these databases is to practice using them. Ask for help whenever you need it. Websites can be great sources of health information. The web is particularly strong on definitions, consumer health information, government publications, health statistics, and clinical practice guidelines. Be sure to consider the source of any web page you use and consider whether they are a trustworthy resource for information that is unbiased and reliable. Always evaluate what you find for accuracy, currency, and authority. Remember, anyone can publish anything on the internet. Evidence-based literature is designed to find all the best evidence or research on a specific clinical question. Evaluate it and present a recommendation to the practitioner on clinical care. Systematic reviews are a specific kind of evidence-based literature. Systematic reviews and evidence-based literature can be found in all the sources we've mentioned so far. One resource in particular that is synonymous with a systematic review is the Cochrane Library. So remember, you will probably need to consult several of the sources mentioned to find the best information on your topic. Over the course of your program, take time to become comfortable with each of the sources mentioned in this module. Finding good information can take a lot of time, so start early and ask a librarian for advice and help for all your information needs. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.